All right, so this video is gonna be all about building a rich text editor with React. And in order to do that, we're gonna be using a package called, let's see here, what's it called? It is called uh, CK Editor. And this is one of many you'll probably find. They all seem to be fairly uh, good, but I just like the look of this one. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Now, rich text editor will just um, kind of spice up your inputs and your text areas and allow for uh, kind of some extra functionality and something you would see with maybe a more professional uh, text editor. So let's get right into it. I'm actually gonna copy this here and then come back over to our editor. I'm in VS Code, but use whatever you like. And I just have a, a create React app uh, file open here. Basically, it's just completely empty. I haven't done anything yet. Um, and the only thing I have done is I've added some CSS to the app.css and that will be in the repo in the description if you're looking for that. Otherwise, you could just copy it down now and that's all we'll do for that. So let's get right into this. Let's get rid of some of the stuff here. We're not gonna need any of this. Uh, we don't need our logo here. Okay, and then let's open up the terminal and inside your terminal, we can just paste in what I just copied over, which is the CK editor package. Um, so go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. All right, so that seemed like a fairly big package, so could have taken a minute to uh, download there, but let's get uh, right into it here. So I'm just gonna come here and give us a little room and I'm gonna paste in uh, the two packages that we just uh, copied over. So these are what you're gonna paste in. You can either get it from the docs or just copy it down there. Now, that is great. And we're also gonna need right here, we're gonna need to bring in some state. So we're gonna go use state and then come down below and we can start coding this thing up. All right, let's come right in here and we are gonna start by going const and open up some square brackets and go text and set text. Okay, and that is gonna be equal to use state. Great, and then inside of that, we're just gonna have um, some empty quotes there. And this will be our starting state. Okay, so that's great. Let's come down here and inside of our app here, we're gonna get our structure going here. So we're gonna have a div and it's gonna be called editor, a class name of editor, and then drop down in here. And in here is where we're gonna have our CK editor. So we're gonna open up some brackets here and we're gonna go capital CK editor, just like that. And then inside here, we're gonna have a few different things. So the editor is gonna have a, a name editor and we're just gonna say classic editor and that'll be some styling and stuff just uh, inherent to the CK editor package. Then we have our data and our data is gonna be text. Sorry, text here. And then below that, we're gonna have our on change function, function, change. And that is not gonna say set text, sorry. It's gonna say, we're gonna pass in an event and the editor. And then we're gonna have an arrow function and open up some curly braces here. And we're gonna go const data and set that equal to editor dot get data and that is great. And then below that, we're gonna set our text because we're gonna wanna output this data somewhere. So we're gonna go uh, set text and we are gonna set that to the data uh, that we just created there. Now let's close this off here uh, and close off our component there. So we can go ahead and save that. Uh, it'll refresh for us. Let's actually get rid of this for a sec, give ourselves a little more room so you can see everything here. All right, so that is good. And then all the only other thing we're gonna want here is I'm gonna do another div here. And then inside of this, I'm gonna have an H2 and that'll just say content. And then below this, let's do a P tag and we'll just uh, output our text right here. Um, so we can kind of see what we're, we got. Okay, so that is basically our whole component. So let's open up our terminal again. And in here we can just um, get our stuff going by going npm 
run start and it should open up by itself. And it does open up, so that's great. And if it doesn't, you can just uh, navigate over to localhost 3000 by yourself. Now, this is uh, our uh, rich text component. So it looks pretty good right, right off the bat. Um, we can uh, type into here uh, what this is test. And you can see over here, we got our tags. So it's got our P tags right there. And we can go ahead and do different things like bolding and italics. So di different kinds of stuff like that. We can uh, give ourselves some room and come down here. So this is kind of a nice little component right off the bat. Not everything will be included right here. So uh, you can add images and stuff and that won't be uh, included right off the bat. So you'll have to add that functionality yourself. Uh, but you can link, link things, link tags. And this is really nice because you can undo, which is a nice little, nice little function. It uh, saves state in that. So that's cool. Now, the one other thing I want to add is this is not obviously what we want because we can see all the tags. So we're gonna add another uh, package here and that is called HTML React Parser. So uh, come over and copy that to your clipboard. And then we're gonna come back over to here, uh, open up a window and just paste that in and we'll be back. All right, so once that is um, installed, let's come over here and get rid of this again. And up top, we're gonna want to import um, that package there. So we're gonna go import, it's called parse, and that is gonna be from, uh, what, HTML parser. Uh, that's HTML React parser. There we go. Okay, so that is what we need. And then all we're gonna do is come down here and inside, uh, right beside our text, we're just gonna go parse. And this is gonna parse our, oops, that's not right. We want this, make sure this is inside the brackets here, obviously, and good. And just wrap that. And once that is done, that should be everything we need. So let's come back over and navigate over to our app here. And let's see, it should refresh. There we go. And let's see if it works. This is a test. Okay, great. So it seems to be working and you can see we don't have any tags or anything more. We can come down and uh, it's all working great. So hopefully that's a nice little intro to creating a uh, rich text editor um, with React. I like this package, it uh, seems to work well. Um, there's many others, uh, Quill is another one I've used. Um, there, there's a bunch, so you could just do your own research, but uh, this one works great and hopefully it kind of gets you started in uh, the right direction. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. And if you liked it a lot, give it a like. And uh, if you didn't, you didn't. But uh, until the next one, thanks for watching.